Missouri is home to a number of artists and craftsmen who make a living selling their wares. In tonight's Friday feature F-Stop, photojournalist Jason Ferber takes us deep into the Ozarks Hills to profile a craftsman who traded life as a professor for a new life as a potter, a craftsman who just happens to be his father. I made my first pot in 1961. Yeah, I was studying advertising design at the University of Oklahoma and was required to take a pottery class as an elective and it just was the first thing in my entire life that had made sense to me. So for the fifth time I changed my major. One of my teachers was an old German lady she felt your first 10,000 pots were probably not worth talking about. It's very difficult to make a living doing artistic pottery. Uh, I have a piece in the permanent collection of the Smithsonian Institution. I've, I've done a lot of exhibition work and I found that it's much easier to make something that they can take home and use in their kitchen or on their dining room table than to take home something to put up on the mantle. At this point in my life, I've probably made about 100,000 pieces of pottery. Even if, uh, you know, a third of them have been broken, that's still 60, 70,000 pieces of pottery that somebody is looking at or using. I touch the lives of a lot of people every day, even though I don't know who those people are. I think there's a very good possibility that 500 years from now, there'll still be a few pieces of mine around. It'll certainly last a lot longer than this videotape. The Yellow Valley Pottery is located three miles south of Highway 21 near Lesterville, Missouri. One of our photographers gets to profile his father. Thanks for tuning in today. We'll see you back here tonight at 10, hopefully. If not, have a wonderful weekend.